Hey guys, Pine Belt Beer Reviews back here again with you. Another one today, um, and this one that I have here today, I uh, just got back from the uh, uh, kind of Christmas holiday. Um, hope everyone else's uh, Christmas went well this year. Um, had my brother come down from Wisconsin where he has moved to for work, um, and he brought down some different beers. Um, I kind of didn't really tell him that I grabbed this from the fridge, uh, along with one other one that... Uh, I plan to do a review on so uh, if you watch this video well I grab one um, uh, to uh, try out um, this one here is an IPA from Madison Wisconsin Brewing Company's uh, Carbon 4 Brewing um, it is uh, their fan fantasy factory uh, India Pale Ale have not had an IPA in quite a while to be honest with you I've really only been sort of just drinking um, different uh, whiskeys and stuff like that lately so um, besides some yingling 12-pack uh, yingling I picked up recently that was happened to be on sale for I believe like $8.99 for a 12-pack uh, at, at a local grocery store it's really the only kind of beer I've been drinking lately uh, other than uh, Guinness so uh, this will be a little different uh, change of pace for me uh, let's go ahead and get this one poured out Get the 3.89 on untapped. It is 6.3% alcohol by volume. And my voice sounds kind of uh, kind of wrecked a little bit today. I'm just kind of getting over some uh, upper respiratory throat junk kind of going on, which uh, happened to also sort of uh, bring back with me over from uh, the Christmas break. Uh, but... Uh, Fortunately, it, doesn't, it didn't, never really moved up into my nose or anything like that to affect my sense of smell or anything, so or taste, I guess. So, uh, fortunately, I uh, uh, should get the full-on profile of aromas and flavors with this. Um, with that being poured, it gets a fairly um, opaque and... Uh, Lots and lots of particles in here. This is definitely, has to be an unfiltered IPA. About a finger of white, sort of sudsy head, and a uh, kind of uh, brown amber sort of color there, as you can see. Um, I don't know if you can check out the particulates there. I don't know, my, my camera's looking a little fuzzy today for some reason, but you can maybe see kind of right in there where the light is. Uh, yeah, maybe you can see that, some kind of cloudiness. You can definitely see the cloudiness, the particulates there. Uh, so lots of yeast in this, which uh, for me, I always like it when a, a beer or whatever has the uh, yeast kind of still in the bottle. I, I feel that it uh, offers a more kind of rounded, um, sort of, uh, you know, more fuller kind of flavor. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's go right into the uh, aroma on this one. And the aroma definitely smells... Um, fairly West Coast hops, uh, kind of, uh, centric. Um, I'm not really sure if it has anything about that on this, uh, on the bottle here. It has the brewery's website on the bottle, but that's about it, along with the, uh, alcohol percentage. Um, but I don't really see anything about the hops, but it definitely smells like maybe Centennial, you know, poss possibly, uh, Amarillo. Just has that pineapple kind of uh, uh, aroma to it. Yeah, a little bit of breadiness, biscuity sort of uh, aroma. You know, really, t it smells. It smells about like what you would expect a um, West Coast IPA to uh, smell like. Uh, again, really, the, one of the only uh, one of the only things I can really see that's uh, unique about it is the fact that it appears unfiltered. Uh, you can maybe see. Now more of those sort of uh, kind of clouds, kind of gray looking flecks floating around there. Uh, there's maybe a few of them right there. Um, yeah, which usually I, I seem to find with um, uh, double IPAs uh, more often than not. Imperial IPAs tend to go unfiltered. Not so much, uh, you know, regular strength 6% uh, ABV IPAs. Uh, so let's go ahead and go straight into the uh, flavor on this one. Yeah, flavor's nice and full. More of that sort of pineapple juice kind of flavor coming through. 
Um, Brighton is there. Not a terribly long finish, um, but uh, right up front, very punchy, very uh, very uh, kind of pungent hop flavor. Uh, this might not really be mostly a one or two hop uh, uh, IPA. I'd be surprised if it if it was more than that. Yeah, so very full flavored, very sort of one note, honestly, um, but a good one note um, being uh, that that sort of uh, West Coast sort of Centennial hop kind of flavor. Centennial Amarillo, what's, uh, uh, I believe it's Centennial Amarillo, um, Citra, all, all those kind of hops uh, that are typically found in those uh, West Coast style uh, India Pale Ales. Um, so yeah, very full flavored, kind of a dry fish. Uh, seems more that uh, that those uh, yeast flakes are kind of kicking up and everything here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it tastes like it's a, you know it's it's really uh, you know a a uh, Wisconsin brewery uh, doing their their thing with the uh, the West Coast style uh, for the IPAs. Um, mouth feels nice and smooth. Has a bit of a nice sort of foamy cap now on the top. Should leave some lacing on the glass here, uh, as it's already uh, seeming to do. Um, but yeah, uh, for like a uh, Wisconsin West Coast style IPA, it's not bad. Um, you know, you can argue, always argue that things like Sierra Nevada, Green Flash, all those uh, Lagunitas, all those kind of uh, West Coast breweries are going to be more you know in tune with that West Coast style. Uh, but this one's good. It's 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 a little it's smoother. It's not as sharp. Uh, that six points uh, percent ABV uh, doesn't have you um, you know uh, reluctant for a second or third one if you were to buy a six pack of this. Um, it's kind of more um, you know drinkable in that regard. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, for for that it's uh, it's fairly smooth. Uh, carbonation isn't too bad either. It's uh, it just has a nice smooth full mouthfeel. Uh, nice um, simple straightforward. Uh, kind of one note uh, sort of punch with the uh, uh, hops um, and a, a kind of a, you know pleasant yeastiness to it uh, with all the uh, you know uh, yeast uh, unfiltered kind of yeast floating around in the glass there uh, so yeah I would recommend trying it if you if you do see it um, again nothing really that's gonna be uh, too crazy uh, but just the fact that it's unfiltered uh, lends enough uh, you know I guess um, lends enough uh, kind of uh, favorability for it to uh, be checked out. Uh, if you do uh, find it in your area, uh, Fantasy Factories with the uh, glowed out, glowing eyes, uh, unicorn breathing fire with the uh, cat wielding a what looks to be a golden desert eagle riding atop it in uh, glorious fla uh, fashion. So definitely check it out, Carbon 4's uh, Fantasy Factory India Pale Ale. If you see it, uh, I think I'd give it maybe a B plus. Uh, again, nothing too crazy, but um, not anything bad either about it. Uh, so uh, that is my review for it. I hope that everyone did have a uh, uh, good Christmas holiday, like I said before, and hope that your uh, new year is uh, just as fulfilled and um, eventful. Um, nothing but it's going to be nothing but rain and, and and mild weather here in South Mississippi. So. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can do another review or something like that, something maybe uh, a little bit more special uh, for that uh, kind of uh, you know event, that sort of, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh, anyway, until uh, next time, guys, thank you for watching.